What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech. I'm gonna show you an easy way to install an SSD on your laptop. Now there's only two real main upgrades you could do on a laptop. One is upgrade the memory, the RAM. And that does greatly improve gameplay and you know, you're pro running your programs. However, sometimes you, know, you wanna upgrade again and you want your computer to boot up faster, load programs faster. Well, I highly suggest getting and upgrading to an SSD. If you have a mechanical hard drive, it can take up to a minute and a half to boot up your computer and up to a minute to load certain programs. With an SSD, you could cut that time in half, sometimes three times faster on an SSD. So let's go ahead and install the SSD. This is one of the best SSDs and the fastest SSDs you can get on the market. It's the Samsung Evo 850. Only thing you're gonna need is this SATA cable to USB. Let's go ahead and open it up. So let's go ahead and install the software. And you can get the software at samsung.com as well. Let's go ahead and plug in the SSD right now. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get the SSD hard drive and the data cables. Now you wanna plug it into the SS USB port on your laptop. That's gonna give you the fastest data transfer. If you don't have an SS USB port, don't worry, it's just gonna take longer. So make sure you plug in your power cable in your laptop because it's gonna take up to five hours to do the data transfer. After plugging in the SSD to your laptop, you wanna go ahead and install the software get your Samsung data migration software to clone your whole entire old hard drive to your SSD. Everything, all your settings, your contacts, your files will all be there on your SSD. And then you can use the old hard drive as a mass storage backup hard drive. But you have to reformat the old hard drive to do that. Install software now, click on install software. Now let's go ahead and install the data migration software right here. Install that. I already installed the Samsung Magician. Now, data migration is the tool to clone your old hard drive. Hit yes. Next. Accept. Next. Install begin. Go ahead, X out of that. And now, what you want to do is you want to go to your data migration that you just installed downloaded. You want to go ahead and set that up. Hit yes. Do you want to update to the latest version? That'd probably be a smart thing to do. All right, so let's go to English. Next. And next. Let's go ahead and install this data migration and begin the install. And finish. You want to start it right now. Let's go ahead and start the data migration from your old hard drive to your new SSD. Let's begin. Start. This is the old hard drive. It has 288 storage on the 442 available. All right, the target disk, which is where everything's going to be cloned to, is going to be disk 1, which is the new Samsung SSD, and that we have it set on. D drive. Click on start. Alright, so it took about like 30 minutes to complete, which wasn't too bad for a 500 gig hard drive. So now it's cloned. Let's go ahead and close it. And cloning is complete. Please shut down the system and install the new disk. So let's go ahead and do that. Shut down. Get started. Let's unplug this. Now everything is on here, all the data, the settings, everything should be identical from the old hard drive to the new SSD. I wanna take out the battery and the power. And to upgrade the RAM, only thing you have to do is spread these clips apart and it pops right up, just like that. The RAM only goes in one way. And you wanna put it in an angle, just like that, so you don't see the copper part. And then you push down, you hear the clip. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the old 
hard drive. And we could use this hard drive for maybe a, a PS3, a PS4 upgrade. And lift that up. And let's go ahead and remove that cable. All right, so let's go ahead and install the new hard drive. Just plug it in right here. The cable will sit down right here in the slot. So you can put the cover back on and it's nice and flush. And you can put it in like that. Oh, I forgot to put the cover on. I'm getting ahead of myself and I forgot to put the cover on. So the cover goes on right here. And there's a little tab. There's one tab right here and another tab. And they sit right here in the slot. And you want to line it up with the holes, obviously. And actually, it goes in this way. So there's little slots right here. And that's where these little tabs go. So let's do that first. And then you set it down. Just like that. And then push this cable in or else the cover won't lock on. Cover back on and it slides up. Just like that. And now we can connect this right here and utilize this as the backup drive. Let's go ahead and not plug it in yet. Do not plug this in yet. Let's go ahead and first turn on your system. You don't want to plug this in just yet. It's going to confuse the system because you have operating system on this and operating system on this. So everything is absolutely identical from the old hard drive. Everything, the settings, everything, even the stuff in the trash can. Let's go ahead and click on the bottom right here. We're going to create and format hard disk partition. Click on that. All right, so your SSD now is the disk zero. All right, and now your disk two is your external USB hard drive, which is your old hard drive, the mechanical one. Make sure you have that plugged into your computer. So you can just see, I unplug that and you'll see it disappear. Then you plug it back in, okay? And when you plug it back in, it populates right here. So you wanna right click disk two, go online, all right, so now that it's online, you want to click on that 440 gigabyte primary partition right here. Right click that, delete volume. Now you want to right click that, go to simple volume, click on next, and then it's going to give you a simple volume that's defaulted right there. That's the same size as the top right there, max disk space. Next, let's uh, assign, I'm going to put Z so I know it's the USB hard drive. And let's go hit next. And next, uh, quick format. We're going to do a quick format on that one. And hit next and finish. And that's how you use it as a USB hard drive. Ready? Three, two, one, go! My laptop will be everywhere. Oh. And Wait, right this now. This one's already on. This guy's yep. coming up and I'm not even. So the winner is the SSD. Killed it. Oh, that's almost up. That's up. 55 seconds for the Beats HP. The MacBook Pro 
still going. It's still loading. Come on, where you can make it. There it goes. Up oh, at one minute and six seconds, MacBook Pro. There you go. No. All right, three, two, one, go. Wow. Wow, that was almost uh, instant. Still nothing. Still nothing. It still works through its typing. So. That, that instant? That was instant. It was an instant response. Oh my god, it's still not loading. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> so if you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone that's interested in upgrading their old laptop and making it two to three times faster and better battery life, go ahead and click on the share button below and subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos like this one. And if you're interested in purchasing an SSD for yourself, just click on the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching.